incredible. Sydney Sneed score has come in. It is a 10. A sensational win here tonight at the Stegman Coliseum. Number 20, Georgia, upending the 11th ranked Tigers. Hunker down, you hairy dogs. You're the national champs. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018. I'm your host, Chuck Dowdle, and over the next hour, have we got a great show for you. You're going to meet some Bulldog legends. You're going to see our newly renovated golf facility. You're also going to meet a young lady who, in any discussion about greatest athletes in this school's history, her name has to be included. And also, we're going to tell you about the latest goings on in football as we've hit spring practice, and also you're going to meet the brand new coach of the men's basketball team. His name is Tom Crean, former coach at Indiana, former coach at Marquette, took the job here at the University of Georgia after a year away working for ESPN. And we got an exclusive chance to spend his first day as the new head man at the University of Georgia with Tom Crean throughout the day. You're never speaking, so we're never going to really have a real conversation. It's going to be a one-way street, and it's going to be your body language. All right, I got it. <laughs> Head coach Tom Crean here, and I'm humbled to have been chosen to lead this men's basketball program at the University of Georgia. My energy is great. I'd like to think I always had it, but I think the passion for basketball started in high school. And then certainly it started when I started coaching in college it, it, while I was uh, coaching in college while I was in college. And then I had a chance to go to Michigan State as a graduate assistant at the age of, I think I just turned 23. And the passion has been high, the, the passion for teaching. I've always loved the recruiting, I've loved the evaluation. But I think when you get around people and you're, you wanna be infectious, you gotta be that way all the time. It's, it's, it's gotta be real, but I want people to feel what I feel. And, and I, I, I feel it, I love the game. Uh, I love the working of the game. I love the, the parts of the game. And I love sports, right? Yeah. But I love being around people and I love watching them get better. Ladies and gentlemen, the head basketball coach of the University of Georgia, Tom Crean. And I cannot wait whenever I get a chance to get in front of my new team and this great program and start trying to help them continue to build on what their dreams are, continue to build on where they want to go. The, the most important thing I can do, because I've already done it and I'll do more of it now, is study them. I know some people go into a job and, well, it's a clean slate. I'm not going to watch any film. No, that's not true. I'm going to watch a lot of film, because I already have. Because my whole basis of developing the, the, the mindset of the players is helping them develop as players. But I think if we come in with energy, I think if we come in attacking the individual improvement mindset, we have to attack it the same way in recruiting, and we start to let the players see how they're going to get better. You, you could have gone a couple of places. I think that's been well reported. Why Georgia? I, I think it's like I said, I mean, it's, it's a gold mine destination, and not just because um, of the facilities and the location, but because this league is so powerful. You said Greg Sankey on, and now having a chance to watch it up close and personal this year, and it's exciting. I mean, it really is. Not only is the coaching 
exciting in this league and the talent, but I just said this in the press conference, there's so much skill. And I don't think there's any reason that Georgia, Georgia can be one of the greatest jobs uh, in the country. What are the musts that we've got to have? And establishing the relationships with the players, making sure that these coaches in this state, high school, AAU, the programs know that we're for real, that we're accessible, that, 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 that we want to help them because we're going to need their help. And then every time you meet somebody, they can become an ambassador for your program, for this university. And it's going to be one of the greatest goals is going to be how do we start selling out this building on a consistent basis. When I, turn on, when I turn on a football game and, and I see what's going on in, 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 in game days here, or when you see the, the cameras pan around and show the crowd, or you see the tailgate areas, okay, that is the exact same type of attitude, the exact same type of energy that we are going to have vision, starting with me, to have come into the stag every time we play. We want versatility. We want multidimensional. I am not big on having guys that play one position. Now, they may come in with one position, but we've got to train them beyond that. And it really becomes, if you can guard another position, you can usually play that one on offense. And my best teams have had guards that could score in the post and bigs that could shoot threes, and we could switch. And that multi-dimension is going to be something that we absolutely start building as soon as we get into the workout. I promise you that there will not be a day goes by that we will not be trying to continue to build on the energy all right, of, of what can happen here, build on what has already happened here, all right, and continue to move it forward to what will happen here. We're always on the run, and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle. One that's flexible and won't charge me fees. Georgia United Credit Union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow. Georgia United's all-new Unified Checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest. It's a simple, convenient, and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life. Spend time on what matters most. It's your account, your options. Georgia United Credit Union. Unified Checking. Seedless grapes are 88 cents a pound. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Welcome back to Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018. And you know, earlier in the program, I was telling you that there's a current student athlete here on campus that in any discussion about greatest athletes in the history of this university, her name needs to be included. That name is Katura Orji. She is the star of the University of Georgia women's track and field team. Now a senior, she just helped lead the track and field team to an indoor national championship. Now, of course, looking to the outdoor season. But let me tell you something. This young lady had aspirations as an Olympian from a very early age, but not in the sport that she's turned out to be a star in. I started gymnastics around second or third grade. Uh, I don't know why. I think my mom just wanted me to get active and I was interested in it, so she put me in it. And right away the coaches kind of noticed some natural talent. As a child, I always watched like Nasty Lukin and Sean Johnson and loved watching them on, on the Olympics. So I was like, oh, I could maybe go to the Olympics since I was skipping levels um, and getting to a higher near elite level. So I was like, maybe I can do this too. And everyone was saying um, that I could be an Olympian, but then I ended up quitting that sport and trying a new one and still ended up being an Olympian. So it's very rare and crazy that I was able to do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
I used to play recess with boys and I would always beat them in races and play tag with them. So I was like, okay, I can be fast. So I joined track and I was pretty fast, but once I started long jumping my freshman year, they realized long jump might be my thing. And then my sophomore year, my coach finally let me triple jump and then that's been my niche ever since then. You know, everybody and their grandmothers wanted to sign her. And at the time, I mean, we, we were in, a, in John's powerhouse, um, so I had to really convince her. So I, you know, decided to go up in New Jersey and, uh, you know, knock on the door. And then this little girl um, in her sweats and like looking like about 12 years old opens the door. And um, I thought it was her youngest sister. I said, hey, is Ketura in? I said, I am Ketura. And I was like, oh, okay. Petros recruited me. Um at a home visit, so he came and saw me, talked to me about the program and everything, and I really liked what he was saying, and then so I came on a visit. That home visit made her say, okay, I'll visit you guys, and I'll uh, not visit Alabama, Florida State, so um, that's how it started. And they were really nice, I really enjoyed the team, they respected what I asked them to, and really treated me really well, and I loved that, so because of the coaching and team, I decided to come to UGA. The way I stay motivated, I think, is just knowing that there's other people out there. So maybe I am the best in the U.S., or maybe I'm the best in college, but there's still people out there in the world that are still better than me. So as long as I have other people to be and try and continue to get better, then there's no reason to be um, content with what I'm doing right now. I don't think I've coached a lot of people that have that work ethic um, and her ability to be professional, um, very very coachable. Uh, once she trusts you, um, it's over. I mean, she, she gives you everything she has. Many people know what they want, but they don't work around it and they don't live around it. Ketura actually lives around what she believes. She believes some things and that's, people, that's why people respect her. So her work ethic is extra high. No matter what happens at practice, no matter if she has pain or something, she will go to practice and actually execute. Give her 100%, even that means it's 80% of what she can give. For my next Olympics, if I do better than fourth place, it's a medal. So I guess I want a medal there um, and just set a new PR. As long as I'm getting better, I'm really happy with myself. I know she cares about winning, but as much as uh, jumping extra, extra far. She doesn't share it that much often. She will say it a little bit, but she shows it at practice. I did not expect to be where I am today already. Petros has done a great job just working with me, teaching me what I know today, and just helping me to advance as much as I can. When, when you can manage to be the first American ever to make an Olympic final and, and almost uh, clinch a medal there, um, as a 20-year-old, it can't get much better than that. And, but also, it can destroy you if you don't have the right head, um, and she does. And you know, she's the same person she was her freshman year. None of, them, none of that changed her. I really found out I like community service, so I started doing a lot of community service events. I started getting put into leadership roles. That people asked me to speak in different places. I hated public speaking, but I'm glad they did because I wouldn't be able to do it today if I was never asked to do those things. I think it's just work ethic. Whenever I'm in classes, I'm taking notes, paying attention, and then when I'm going home or I know a test is coming up, I'll start studying early. Um, I just like to do well. I don't see a reason. God's given you a talent. He's given you a brain. Why not use it? So I, I like to work hard in whatever I do. If you're not competitive in the classroom, most likely you're not going to be competitive outside uh, the classroom. And she has her goal. She wants to be a straight A student and she's accomplishing that as well as being an Olympian. Not an easy task. Not all people know I started a mentoring program for eighth grade girls in, at Hillsman Middle School. And so I just bring in speakers for them and then I have mentors that I selected that they meet with one-on-one. -on -one. These girls look up to her and they listen to her and so she managed to put so many people together like faculty come with us and like student athletes come with us and regular students come with us to so those days and uh, it's really fun to be around. I really like um, pushing women to grow and develop and just promoting the importance of education because education is a true equalizer for all people. She's going out of her way to do that with little girls and give them the chance to be like her or, or give them a little boost uh, to be better in school or better in the, in their, with their families. That separates her from the average student athlete. I mean, she, she went past that title. Looking forward, I'm not really sure what I want to do. There are a lot of different options I could do. I really enjoy financial planning, um, but I'm going to do my master's in sports management. 
and then I'm also gonna be a professional athlete, so I wanna go to the Olympics again. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do, but definitely continuing my education and continuing um, competing. I wanted to be the greatest ever that walked through our campus, uh, just because that she knows what she wants. She loves her event. She likes winning like everybody else, but she loves her event. She studies her event. I, I would love to coach her professionally and, and, and have her blossom to where she wants to be. But uh, my main goal between now and June is I would like her to win the Barman Trophy for the third time. Hopefully that uh, will be the charm going there and um, giving her a chance to become the greatest ever uh, uh, that has been through our team. We're always on the run, and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle. One that's flexible and won't charge me fees. Georgia United Credit Union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow. Georgia United's all-new unified checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest. It's a simple, convenient, and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life. Spend time on what matters most. It's your account, your options. Georgia United Credit Union. Unified checking. Direct TV gives you more for your thing. Your top rated thing. That five stars, two thumbs up, 12 out of 10 would recommend thing. Because if you only want the best thing, you get the number one thing. Direct TV is rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable. Switch now and get a $100 reward card. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1 800 Direct TV. It's what gets us up early and sets us into motion every single day. It's commitment, and it starts with just showing up. Mornings in the gym, nights in the lab, and all day, every day. It's why we fight a little harder, aim a little higher, and reach a little further. Because with every solution, every realization, and every time we commit to perfection, we find greatness. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible and we need to use it all the time. Awesome. I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Continuing our look here at Spring 2018, Best of the Bulldogs. You know, the women's basketball team enjoyed an incredible season this year, making it all the way to the second round of the NCAA tournament under third-year head coach Joni Taylor. And two of the stars of this team, well, they are best friends. However, it wasn't always that way, particularly in high school, where they were rivals and definitely enemies. I started playing basketball when I was around five um, at a rec called Fair Oaks. I didn't start playing until I think until I got to sixth grade. We're both from Cobb County, so it's like Powder Springs, Marietta area. Yeah, been together, just rivals. When she came, um, I was in, I think, eighth grade, and she, obviously she was in seventh, and it was just like, uh, like there's another tall girl in my county. Like, this is my county. Like, <laughs> she needs to leave. <laughs> I think we. I, I think that's when we started playing each other too, because mm -hmm. I always played up. I never played with the same grade. When she moved and started going to McKeecher, and that was really when like that rival like kicked in because both of our high schools hated each other. I say one funny moment. I think is when we played John. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> and like during a game, I don't know what you did, I but I was just something. laughing like hard. Cause you're just so goofy and you're still <laughs> goofy and it's crazy. Her official visit was actually on a game day, but I was still her host. But I just used the fact that it was a game day basically like as an excuse to not be around her. So I was just like, no, I'm like, I'm busy. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And I don't know, I almost wish I would have taken the time to at least talk to her because I mean, she's an amazing person and I might have been able to figure that out a little sooner if I did that, so. 
Um, well, me knowing that she was here, I, me playing with her, that's something I've always wanted to do. It's like, be honest with you. Oh my gosh, that makes Because I ain't so never so have nobody bad. like the same. <laughs> Last year was when we really created that bond because we realized like if we're going to be great, like we have to be great. Um, and so I think that's when we were able to come to each other with our struggles and with our success and everything. And, and that's when I got to see the person that she was. Not until I got to myself from here, I feel like Mac was the only person I could really relate to or get close with because it's like, I've been around her even though I haven't really been around her, but she's the person I've known the longest. I think just that cliche saying of never judging a book by its cover is so true. Cause like I said, if I would have taken 15 minutes on her official visit, I could have learned a lot about her and realized that she's not that bad. Like she's quite great. Us being together and being so close, I think is a part of the reason why everybody else is so close because we're all like super close now. It's, it's like that real like family feeling. But we understand that in order to get there, we have to work really hard and we have to lead the team and know that it's not just gonna be handed to us. We have big dreams this year and we believe that we can accomplish them. Always on the run, and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle. One that's flexible and won't charge me fees. Georgia United Credit Union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow. Georgia United's all-new unified checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest. It's a simple, convenient, and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life. Spend time on what matters most. It's your account, your options. Georgia United Credit Union. Unified checking. gives you more for your thing, your top rated thing, that five stars, two thumbs up, 12 out of 10 would recommend thing. Because if you only want the best thing, you get the number one thing. DirecTV is rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable. Switch now and get a $100 reward card. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Welcome back once again to Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018. You know, one of the great things about University of Georgia Athletics are the legacies that exist here. Such a legacy exists right now among three head coaches, our head women's tennis coach, head men's tennis coach, and our head swimming and diving coach. All competed here as student athletes at the University of Georgia. All have enjoyed tremendous success as head coaches, winning SEC titles and national championships, and all three share a common bond of friendship. We have over a hundred and probably 25 years of yeah, <laughs> yeah, coaching. That's true. Yeah, it's true. Uh, wait, oh my wait a goodness. Minute. Well, I told them to make this look like George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> I can swear I have more hair than that, but well, I think I don't. I, I, tell you, I, I, I tell you what, I remember yeah, these two great. guys when they had hair. They yeah. had long hair. Yeah. Both yeah. of these guys yeah. liked it kind of long. That's what coaching does. That's yeah. what coaching does. That looks great. That's the way uh, you yeah, look. With the sunglasses yeah, on and that's everything. Pretty cool. That's, uh, that's yeah. the first uh, sunglass bobblehead yeah. doll, I think, that's, in the history. That's, that's hey, that, that looks like Coach Diaz about 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And this looks sadly like I do now. <laughs> 
Well, Jack and I are a little bit older than Jeff, so yeah. uh, we remember each other. They know uh, that. They can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> we remember each other when we were, you know, athletes here at the same time. Uh, so I came in 70 and Manuel came one year after. 71. So we knew each other from 71 on. Yeah. 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 And then I yeah. guess Jeff. 81. 81. Because yeah. yeah. I remember, I think I first met you when you were a player. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. And I came back as an assistant to Coach McGill when Jeff was on the team. So I was lucky enough to coach him for a year or two. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The last two right. years. Oh, I forgot um, about that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm not sure which is my favorite sport. <laughs> yeah, well, I know he plays more tennis than I do now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but I've had so much fun, and because of being here, because of the tennis program, you know, uh, and NCAs here in, in the '70s and the, and the '80s. I just fell in love with the sport. Quite frankly, it changed my whole life here. And it's sort of, it's almost a tribute, as Manny and Jeff know much better than I, to Coach McGill, who brought so many people in to his world. Is Coach McGill passed that on. Uh, yeah. His passion, his love for Georgia, uh, and so many folks that, uh, you know, he involved in all of our lives. I think it's a good way to put it. He, uh, <clears throat> I always think when he won that first championship, but when he won uh, that first championship, I think that opened the doors for all of us. And I thought, and I think we all thought there was there was a possibility for all of us. So sure. You know, and it, and coach, um, because of him, you know, he, he had, he's had an effect. You can imagine. I can't even imagine the effect that he had on Manuel and Jeff. Which, and I was only a swimmer, but he he did one thing that I still do. I mean, because of him, I write pen a letter every day of the week and because anything I did that was even we get fifth in the conference championship you go I get he, a letter he would congratulations a letter. Jack on a great performance yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were fifth oh boy it's just growing a lot the buildings the campus is so spread out I think back now when people come to our campus that maybe played in 90 or something and they return for the first time and they're just like wow this is you know we, I see certain things that are still the same but everything's just so much bigger and spread out and there's so many more students walking around and so it, it has a little bit different feel in that effect just because of the size. We were pretty fortunate too like when we were here we we knew everyone. Yeah. Uh, it was smaller and uh, well when you and I were in school our uh, we had 18,000 students. students now it's doubled yeah so we're around 36 it was more of a town yeah also think a, a, a huge change is our swimming pool because Jack used to bring <laughs> recruits on campus and spend the 48 hours and on the way back to the airports oh I forgot to take you to the swimming pool that doesn't happen anymore does it we, we signed five kids that never saw the pool yeah and it's it's not it's not like exaggerated we tried to get through 48 hours without showing uh, Stegman and uh, uh, you know it was Stegman was a a pool that was actually built for the Navy, you know, to train uh, the, the paratroopers. It was for for them going off the rafters mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So anyhow, and after the war was over, uh, the un unbelievable thing, after the war was over, then the Navy sold it back. And the, you know, the university bought it for one dollar. And I always say, we overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> all I can remember about Stegman all was just the smell. Oh. <laughs> the smell of the chlorine God. and the mold. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is are the, are the facilities. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's yeah. probably one of the biggest changes that we've seen. I also too. think the, the the support the student athlete ah, uh, yeah. gets yeah. now compared to what we had. Uh, it's and, incredible. And the kids that come back, our, old, our former ones, oh, yeah. they think, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the way we they, travel. Uh, yeah, the way we travel, everything. So everything, uh, yeah, they think they, uh, these kids have died and gone to heaven, comparatively speaking, because, uh, you know, the way we travel, you're getting ready to go on a charter. Charter flight. And we used to drive these vans and, you know, finish up a meeting. Kentucky at uh, drive at, nine hours or back home. Coming back at four o'clock and us driving. Yeah, you know. to me is is the memories really. Uh, you know we, we we've had such great memories watching these kids uh, living a moment that will forever uh, be with them. Uh, and some of those you know we've we've lost in the finals. We've come oh. in second uh, and you know a tough moment. But those moments define these kids and uh, you know. 
they, 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 they just never going to forget it. Yeah. I think it's more about the relationships and uh, the things that happen after the championships are won and seeing them in each other's weddings and things of that nature that's really most special to all of us. Right. But you're right, I mean the memories, uh, those kids are connected for Forever. a lifetime and connected to us too which is really fun. He comes from Oregon, yeah. he comes mm -hmm. from Philly, yeah. I come from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah. And Never we leave. bleed red and black now, yeah. and we're you know we're we've been here for 45 years, yeah. 35 years, uh, and you know we'll always be from Athens now. And speaking of legends here at the University of Georgia, probably no sport has more legends right now on the PGA Tour than our golf program. In fact, our golf program has just finished a multi-million dollar renovation of the golf facilities here at the university. It is something to see. And in fact, we were there as the current golf team got an opportunity to see their new facilities for the very first time. Oh, it's incredible. I, I was one of the few that didn't see it over construction or anything, so this is all new to me and everything, so I'm just, I'm impressed. I love it. It's incredible. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, there, there's no other place in the country like this. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. Just to walk in and see that, that we have that for every day is just, it's pretty mind-blowing. I mean, we knew it was going to be nice, but not nearly that nice. Yeah, it does because this project you're nervous when you're trying to make it for 18 to 22 year old student athletes and you, know, you try to you think you know them well um, but their reactions today said we did a pretty good job of hitting all their soft spots for sure. Well I knew it would be a, a pretty special place for them to see it but I also wanted them to see the history of the guys that came before them and, and what they represent now so They've got a pretty good sense of what their future could hold if they, you know, if they can improve their games and maybe get to the next level. Uh, they see the guys have done it before. Them. And it's going to bring so much more attention and really good attention. Like it just shows that the athletic association cares about the golf program and wants it to be the greatest it can be and provide us with the best they can. So. Yeah, I mean to walk in and see your locker right there with seven or eight other PGA Tour professionals. I mean, I'm sitting there with my locker next to Chris Kirk and Kevin Kisner. So I'm walking in there and seeing their names every day right there next to mine. It's pretty cool, pretty assuring to know you're on the right path. You know, hopefully Bulldog Nation has a chance to, to see it because they'll be wowed and really impressed. And again, the history tradition we have here, especially the women's side with Liz Murphy, Title IX, the men's side, all the tour success. It's, it's a building that, you know, all those people have worked really hard. They, you know, they deserve a lot of credit and a lot of thank you. You go back and you look at the history of this program, and this is one thing I've always wanted to show off, is all the, the great players that came through here. So, you know, we've had a lot of alumni, a lot of golf boosters, um, you know, the administration itself. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people put a lot of effort into making this happen, and I think they're going to be really pleased with it when they, they see it in the grand opening, and, and there's going to be a, a huge sense of pride for our program. But yeah, without all those people, um, wouldn't happen, so we're very thankful for the donors and the alums and the, and the administration for making this a reality. always on the run and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle one that's flexible and won't charge me fees georgia united credit union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow georgia united's all new unified checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest it's a simple convenient and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life spend time on what matters most it's your account your options georgia united credit union unified checking
TV gives you more for your thing, your top rated thing, that five stars, two thumbs up, 12 out of 10 would recommend thing. Because if you only want the best thing, you get the number one thing. DirecTV is rated number one in customer satisfaction over cable. Switch now and get a $100 reward card. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Welcome back to Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018. You know our gymnastics program is under new direction this year. Courtney Capetz Carter, one of the greatest gymnasts in the history of the sport, is now the head coach here at the University of Georgia, having competed here and starred here under Suzanne Yachlin. Well, Suzanne is also back assisting Courtney. And with that comes another young lady back to the University of Georgia gymnastics program. She has a definite role with this program, and much like the gymnast, the challenge that they face in each of their disciplines, this young lady has faced a number of challenges too. But you'd never know it the way she supplies the University of Georgia with that certain energy that they need when they take to the mat or to the bar. I'm Dave Goosens, longtime Jim Dog fan. Uh, I guess I would say probably since 90, 91, somewhere in that range. Um, we started when they were at the old women's PE building, which was a really small little old place. And um, Suzanne Yachlin come out. And she comes out and says, Hi, I'm Suzanne Yachlin. Um, we, we have our Jim Dogs here. Uh, would you like to watch and come to some of the meets and practices or something? And my daughter was taking gymnastics and Suzanne Yachlin has just took up with our Suzanne right away, which she didn't have to do because most people don't for a handicapped kid, but she always embraced her just like she was her own daughter or something. Suzanne became part of this program when she was just a little baby, a little toddler, and uh, she came to a first to a gymnastics meet back when we only had a few hundred fans, and I could see her just clapping up in the stands. She was so enthusiastic. Her mom and dad loved gymnastics and loved having her part of it, and like I said, she's been a fan for almost as long as I coached. I first got to have an interaction with Suzanne Goosens when uh, Special Olympics was coming into the gym to do other gymnastics practice, and. Uh, we made it uh, a priority to have uh, some of the gymnasts during the time, and I was one of them, come in and help them. And so that was my first interaction. I know they were with the program a very, very, very long time, but I had a very strong connection with Suzanne right away. She's someone that um, loved gymnastics, and her interaction and what she did in the gym was, uh, she loved it so much and had so much fun, and she had so much energy for Georgia Gymnastics that it was just exciting to be around her. Well, it started out that she was a little timid when we asked her if she, you know, wanted to be our manager. Courtney, you know, called her on the phone and asked her, and of course she was like, yes, 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 yes. And her mom was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And we were absolutely sure. I mean, there was no doubt in Courtney's mind and my mind. Uh, she is just right there with us. She's got the water ready. When they finish the floor team, she's right in there with that water right away. And she's really blended in well and is a tremendous asset to our program and our team. So one of the coolest parts of what Suzanne does is she's an inspiration. She really is. And so she will personalize uh, messages to the girls 
uh, weekly and put them on the mirrors in their locker room where their vanities are just to give them some inspiration for the week but also bring them back down to why they're doing gymnastics and so that's really great. Um, Gymnastics is so much, but when you have people around you that love what you're doing and can instill more passion in you, uh, I'll, keep, I'll take it. I love it. We're always on the run, and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle. One that's flexible and won't charge me fees. Georgia United Credit Union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow. Georgia United's all-new Unified Checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest. It's a simple, convenient, and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life. Spend time on what matters most. It's your account, your options. Georgia United Credit Union. Unified Checking. Seedless grapes are 88 cents a pound. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible and we need to use it all the time. Awesome, I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Well, next up here on Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018, football. And what a season it was for the University of Georgia last year. So close to winning a national championship, but just advancing to that game took a lot of talent. And when there's a lot of talent, that means that NFL scouts pay very close attention. Nothing was more obvious than that at Pro Day here at the University of Georgia. As many seniors and a few underclassmen got an opportunity to show representatives of all 32 NFL teams just what they can do if they get the opportunity to play at the next level. Full complement of scouts down here, boys. To say the least, there's over 90 folks that are here to witness what are you know, a pretty impressive class that could come out of the University of Georgia. Group two of the standing broad jump. Make sure you have your cleats because the broad jump's on the turf. I'm excited to see all these guys. It's been a while since I've seen a lot of them. We got to see a lot of them perform at the Combine. Thought they did a tremendous job there, but some of the guys that didn't get to work out the Combine, the Jeb Blazevich, you know, Dom didn't do a lot. It's, it's going to be exciting to see these guys that hadn't got to work yet. You know, it's probably hard to distinguish the two. I think the most common thing is, you know, Sony's ability out of the backfield running the routes. I don't think people give Nick enough credit for his ability to do that and catch the ball. We didn't ask him to do that. You know, it wasn't something we asked him to do, and we had Sony doing it, we had Swift doing it. Certainly missed both those guys yesterday, I promise you that. and be myself, you know, just be myself at the end of the day, you know, if they ask me questions, I'll just always uh, tell the truth and then feel like once you get to like ball and different things like that, kill it, thrive in those, thrive in those type settings, so 
it's nothing too nothing too big for me. The moment is not too big or anything. Uh, you know, I wanted to be so perfect, come out here and just show these coaches out. But you know, I think I did a great job of just, you know, taking little things from them and just going out there and having fun. Uh, today went great, I think. You know, I believe I improved on all my things. All, everything I wanted to do, I improved. Uh, you know, it was 100%, no drops. Felt good, man. Um, I feel like I came out here and showed everything, you know, I planned on showing. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, able to run the 40. Um, you know, but I was able to show, you know, my change of direction. And um, you know, I increased my 225, almost 20 reps. So um, I think I had a good showing. Guys want to come here to have this opportunity, you know, to play, you know, to play at this university, and then to play for big bowl games, and then to, you know have opportunity to come out and you know, be embraced by all these scouts. Out there. You know, I think I, I don't control what I can control, sure. so I'm not trying to play this guessing game with myself or thinking of where I'm gonna be, where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna just do what the best for Sony, uh, and you know, leave it in God's hands. Well, listen, no, I don't really feel like it's any pressure because, like, I know what I can do. So I'm confident in my abilities when I come out on the field. So I feel like I can come out, move well, do everything they're asking, um, look pretty pretty good at it. So I feel like at the end of the day, if you're confident in yourself, why worry? Why worry about it when you know you can do whatever it takes? We're always on the run, and we need a checking account that fits our busy lifestyle. One that's flexible and won't charge me fees. Georgia United Credit Union has unified your needs of today with the places you want to go tomorrow. Georgia United's all-new Unified Checking gives you all the comforts of a free checking account with options to earn interest. It's a simple, convenient, and rewarding checking account for the way you live your life. Spend time on what matters most. It's your account, your options. Georgia United Credit Union. Unified Checking. gets us up early and sets us into motion every single day. It's commitment and it starts with just showing up. Mornings in the gym, nights in the lab, and all day, every day. It's why we fight a little harder, aim a little higher, and reach a little further. Because with every solution, every realization, and every time we commit to perfection, we find greatness. I wonder if Mike's got it. Hey man, you got it? Of course I got it. Good job, man. Coach, you got it? I'm all over it, man. About time. Hey Jack, did you get it? Heck yeah, I got that thing. That thing is absolutely incredible and we need to use it all the time. Awesome, I know you can do it. I think anyone can figure this out. Best of the Bulldogs Spring 2018 is brought to you by Georgia United, the official credit union of Georgia Athletics. Well, as we wrap it up here on Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018, obviously we couldn't have this kind of a show without addressing spring football. So important to the players that will make the core of next year's 2018 Georgia Bulldogs football team. A team now that has a bar to achieve, having just seen the 2017 team come so close to winning a national championship. And as Coach Kirby Smart said, change is inevitable, growth is optional. Right now, he and his staff, they're looking for growth and at all positions. Um, I'm excited, uh, obviously, to get started this uh, spring practice. Um, I've learned a saying a long time ago, change is inevitable, but growth is optional. And I think that's a great mantra for this team. Um, everybody wants to talk about the guys that left, but you know you don't replace a Roquan Smith. You don't re replace a Nick Chubb, a Sonny Michelle. You don't replace any of those guys because there's not going to be another Roquan Smith. There's not going to be a guy exactly like him. 
So each one of our players has to create an identity for themselves. This team has to create an, a new identity for itself. It's just been about embracing that role, me, Terry, John, a lot of the older guys embracing the role of being leaders and knowing that we're the older guys and we have to, you know, create our own identity. It's a new team. And nobody's got higher expectations than us. And, uh, you know, we're going to embrace it every day with the way we work and the way we grind. And there's a ton of competition out there at every position. So um, I think there's going to be a lot of great battles and it's going to create a good culture. A lot of questions about this team, and that's what I'm excited about. The challenge of finding the personalities on this team that will lead the right way, um, the personalities on this team that will challenge the other guys. Um, a lot of that has already started in the off-season program. Guys challenging each other, pushing each other, and we're not going to get where we want to go if we don't have great leadership. I can promise you that. And that's the biggest question about this team, is who are going to be the leaders? Who are going to be the guys that demand a lot of each other? It's going to be all up to the guys that played last year and all the older guys to really put up this identity and grab the young guys and get them to follow us. Definitely be key, you know, with the guys coming in and guys, you know, just trying to, you know, get on the field and play, you know, trying to lead them guys in the right way and, you know, be that, that person to show them how to do things. And now with, with the season under my belt, I kind of got some leeway on how to do things and um, how to get in and, and get out and, and, you know, and relaying that to um, other guys. And it's always good to see young guys grow when you're a leader and see those guys mold. That's probably the best thing about being a leader. So what's going to be your motivating factor? And I think that each team is very different. My concern for this team is not understanding that you know, they, they, they are going to be the target for everyone they play. We're not going to sit back and let people hunt us. We're going to continue to hunt. We're an aggressive team. That's what we want to be. And we're trying to grow as a team and get better. I think they'll embrace that challenge. In our mind, we're never the hunted. We always, we're still the hunters. I mean, we're still going to be hungry, still going to go out to everybody at Facebook. They just got to give us their, their best game because we're going to give them an hour. Grinding. I mean, everybody's trying to buy in, everybody's getting bigger. We're trying to get the new freshmen that just rolled in, trying to get them going and get, get them up to speed. Everybody's coming in home, coming in, trying to grind, trying to earn their spot. G-Day now set for April 21st at Sanford Stadium, a 4 o'clock kickoff. Coach Smart wants the stands packed. It is so important to recruiting, and my goodness, how it's paid off over the past couple of seasons. So put that on your calendar. Thanks for being with us here on Best of the Bulldogs for Spring 2018. If you've enjoyed the show, we certainly hope you have. Please check out georgiadogs.com for more special features on student athletes and our very successful athletic programs. I'm Chuck Dowdle. Have a great Bulldog Day, everybody.